Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a ninja painting, explaining the story of a distant past, where a boy named Kamui grows up in a poor village, facing harsh treatment from the villagers, due to his poverty. As Kamui matures, he decides to leave his difficult life behind, and joins a group of ninjas. However, he soon realizes that being a ninja requires him to harm others, a path that conflicts with his moral values. Disillusioned, he chooses to abandon the ninja group, but this decision comes with severe consequences. The group views desertion as cowardice, and the remaining ninjas vow to hunt him down, making his escape a perilous journey. His struggle is interwoven with flashbacks to his childhood, revealing the influence of the ruthless leader of the no Cannon ninja group, Dumuk. In one critical flashback, Dumuk orders Kamui to attack Mikumo, a fellow ninja attempting to leave the group. During the ensuing battle, Mikumo and Dumuk accidentally injure some of their followers. Despite this, neither wants to harm the young Kamui. Dumuk, wielding a special weapon, wounds Mikumo, but she fights back, injuring Dumuk's eye. Enraged, he retaliates by throwing her into the sea. To Kamui's shock, he reveals that his injured eye was actually a fake, leaving Kamui to grapple with the realization of his deception, and the true nature of the ninja world he's entangled in. Fast forward 14 years, Kamui is on the run from his former ninja group, who are relentless in their pursuit of him. Now a skilled and agile fighter, he defends himself using his extraordinary abilities, including a flying jump, a flying kick, and a variety of other combat moves. He leaps from tree to tree, setting traps for his pursuers, all while demonstrating his unmatched prowess. His special move, the Izuna move, is highlighted, a technique that sets him apart from others. But even more impressive is his unique shadow move, a technique he mastered on his own, which he uses to silently eliminate a ninja he once worked alongside. As the chase continues, a man is washing a horse, unaware of the impending danger. Suddenly, Hanbei, another ninja, attacks him, severing the horse's leg in the process. Hanbei grabs the horse's leg, and flees into the forest, with Kamui silently observing from a hidden spot. He begins to pursue Hanbei, while Lord Gumbei, the horse's owner and leader of the renowned samurai group, the mate Sumi clan, furiously reprimands his helper. Gumbei is no ordinary man, his reputation as a powerful and influential samurai makes him a formidable figure. Kamui eventually catches up with Hanbei, who offers to help him escape the area. Kamui however has his own plan, he intends to kill Lord Gumbei and his samurai companions. Hanbei tricks Kamui into thinking he is about to shoot an arrow at him, only to reveal it is merely a piece of wood. Hanbei then offers him passage to his village by boat, but as they sail, a massive storm engulfs them. In a moment of betrayal, Hanbei throws him into the sea, but tosses him a piece of wood to hold onto. Hanbei tries to justify his actions, explaining that he has a family to care for, leaving Kamui to struggle against the stormy waters. Meanwhile, back at his clan's headquarters, Lord Gumbei seethes with rage, over the injury to his beloved horse. Unable to tolerate the offense, he orders his men to hunt down and punish the perpetrator. The next day, local fishermen discover a stranger washed up on the beach. Among them is Hanbei, who realizes that the man is none other than Kamui. Remorseful for his betrayal, Hanbei decides to bring Kamui to his home, to recover. However, at night, Hanbei's wife, Shuguru, attempts to kill Kamui in his sleep, believing him to be a threat. But just as she is about to strike, their daughter Sayaka intervenes, stopping her mother and waking Kamui in the process. Furious and distrustful, he confronts Hanbei. However, Hanbei explains his situation, pleading for Kamui's understanding. He reveals that he has three children to care for, and his actions were driven by desperation, rather than malice. Apologizing for his earlier betrayal, Hanbei tries to make amends, showing Kamui around the village, which is populated mostly by fishermen. Sayaka offers Kamui a place to stay, taking him to an old house, that her mother has prepared for him. But as he steps inside, he narrowly avoids a hidden trap. Realizing this was a deliberate attempt on his life, he accuses Shuguru of setting the trap. At this moment, the truth is revealed, Shuguru is actually Mikumo, the same ninja Dumuk had thrown into the sea, years ago, at the beginning. Before he can react, Hanbei arrives, diffusing the tension, as Shuguru hesitates to carry out her attack. At night, Hanbei invites Kamui to join the family for dinner, trying to ease the animosity. However, their peaceful meal is disturbed by Ichido, a young boy who secretly spies on them. Ichido harbors feelings for Sayaka, and becomes jealous upon seeing her grow close to Kamui, fueling his resentment. After dinner, Kamui becomes curious about Hanbei's activities, and discreetly follows him to a storage room. 
Inside, he discovers Hanbei cutting off horse hooves, which he uses as bait to catch fish, a technique that proves incredibly effective. The next day, the village hosts a big fishing contest, and Kamui joins Hanbei's team. Out at sea, Hanbei reveals his secret weapon, enabling them to catch an enormous amount of fish. Their success not only wins them the competition, but also solidifies their friendship. However, the victory is marred when Hanbei later spots Ichido, sneaking out of the storage room. Confronting him, Hanbei bluntly says he won't allow him to marry Sayaka. Hurt and angry, Ichido storms off. In the evening, Hanbei confides in Kamui, revealing that he knows about Kamui's and Shuguru's pasts. He explains when Shuguru was still a ninja, he had hoped Kamui would stay in the village, to protect her. He expresses his concern for Shuguru's safety, urging Kamui to remain, but Kamui decides to leave, without giving an explanation. Meanwhile, the villagers discover a poster, announcing Hanbei has been placed on the wanted list by the mate Sumi clan. Fearing that his presence endangers Shuguru and the village, Kamui resolves to leave, believing it to be the best way to protect them. However, as Kamui is departing by boat, Shuguru suddenly attacks him, leading to a fierce underwater battle. Despite the intensity of the fight, Kamui ultimately spares her, and swims away. Yet, she refuses to give up the chase, determined to confront him. He stops her, revealing Hanbei knows her secret, and reassures her he didn't come to harm her, like her, he is also running from his past. This revelation finally convinces Shuguru to trust him. But when they return to the village, they are met with a horrifying sight, Hanbei's house is engulfed in flames. They quickly learn the mate Sumi clan has captured Hanbei, with Ichido betraying him, leading the clan to his location. Enraged, Sayaka goes after Ichido, with Kamui following closely behind. The villagers, who now realize Ichido's betrayal, also gather, their anger towards him boiling over, as they confront the boy who has led their village into danger. The next day, a grim scene unfolds, the ninjas prepare to execute Hanbei by shooting arrows at him. A crowd gathers to witness the spectacle, but just as it seems all hope is lost, Kamui and Shuguru arrive in the nick of time. They manage to rescue him, narrowly escaping with him, while also seizing Lord Gumbe's stolen goods. In a show of defiance, they distribute the loot among the villagers, turning the tide of the villagers' sentiment. After the daring escape, Kamui leads Hanbei and his family to the relative safety of Castle Mank Island. Upon arrival, they are met with a disturbing discovery, many fishermen have been brutally killed by sharks, that infest the waters around the island. Before they can become the shark's next victims, a mysterious figure appears, and slays the predator, a seasoned shark hunter named Fudo. Fudo, who is also a member of the crew, escorts them to Saki Island, where he makes a bold offer to the village head. He promises to rid the waters of the deadly sharks, ensuring the fishermen can work safely. Impressed by Kamui's courage, Fudo invites him to join the shark hunting mission. Kamui agrees, and alongside Fudo and his crew, he successfully takes down several sharks. He is impressed by Fudo's skills, and begins to see him as a mentor. In the evening, the village celebrates their victory with a grand party. Amid the festivities, Sayaka takes Kamui to the beach, and gives him a seashell, that resembles a sunrise, telling him to keep it as a symbol of her affection, so her heart will always be close to his. Next, Kamui approaches Fudo's ship to speak with him, but suddenly, a group of ninjas ambushes him, throwing him into the sea. It's revealed these ninjas are actually Fudo's men, testing Kamui's abilities. Trapped in a cage underwater, he refuses to give up. Using his extraordinary skills, he digs through the sand, and manages to escape to the surface. Impressed by his tenacity, Fudo invites him to join his group, revealing they are actually no cannon ninjas, fighting for their freedom. He agrees to join them, finding a new purpose among these renegades. However, at night, Sayaka has a terrifying dream, in which she sees Kamui being brutally beaten to death by angry villagers. Overcome with fear, she realizes how vulnerable he is, and how easily he could be lost to her. The next day, as Kamui prepares to embark on another hunting mission, Sayaka approaches him, asking him to share a meal with her. During this intimate moment, she finally confesses her feelings for him, expressing her deep concern for his safety, and her desire to be close to him. Next, Kamui and Fudo notice a strange white light in the sky, as they venture a little further from the village. Kamui immediately senses something is wrong, and rushes back to the village, only to find a horrific sight, everyone has been slaughtered, including Hanbei and his family. As he searches the ruins, he finds Shuguru, barely clinging to life. With her dying breath, she reveals Fudo is a traitor, who poisoned the village's drinking water. Overcome with rage, 
he swiftly hunts down and eliminates the undercover ninjas, hiding in the village. As he makes his way to the shore, he encounters Fudo, who is accompanied by a painter from the village. It is revealed the painter is none other than Damak, the leader of the no Cannon ninja clan, and Fudo is his treacherous student. Suddenly, a group of ninjas ambushes Kamui. In the chaos, Fudo throws a firecracker at him, igniting a deadly battle. Despite the explosion, he fights off the ninjas with relentless fury. Meanwhile, Fudo seizes the opportunity to escort Dumuk to safety. Kamui, having defeated the ninjas, pursues Fudo and Dumuk. He finally confronts Fudo, and a fierce battle ensues. Kamui attempts to use his shadow move, to gain the upper hand, but Fudo, being equally skilled, counters the attack. The two warriors engage in a brutal and dangerous fight, each using every technique they know, to gain the upper hand. In the end, Kamui manages to outmaneuver Fudo, and succeeds in defeating him. In a final act of retribution, he severs Fudo's hands, leaving him to die alone and helpless. Meanwhile, Dumuk, having narrowly escaped, strikes a business deal with Lord Gumbe. Disguised as a painter, he sells a beautiful painting to Lord Gumbe, securing his protection, and planning his next move. As the dust settles, Kamui quietly buries Hanbei's family, mourning their loss. With a heavy heart, he leaves the devastated village behind, determined to continue his journey, even with new challenges. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.